they are. Amen. We got to put out our trust in the Lord, brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. Because he is the only one who is faithful. He's the only one who is worthy. Amen. And as we look around, we see so much that is going on today. Amen. And everything is getting out of control. But thank God, he is still in control. Amen. This is Brother Williams. Amen. And uh, praise the Lord uh, for this opportunity to come before you again with another message, another word, another insight. Amen. Uh, of the things that are going on in the world and how these things are linked to Bible prophecy. You know, we don't really study Bible prophecy anymore. We don't really um, believe the word of God. We, we, we got it figured out in our own minds, you know, how we think things uh, should go. But God has shown us in his word how things would become. Amen. Jesus said that, you know, uh, the times would get worse and worse. And he, like I said, he, he referenced them as the beginning of sorrows. And we are seeing it, ladies and gentlemen. If you're looking for the gas price to go low, don't hold your breath. Amen. Because this administration has a plan. And as I've told you from the beginning, uh, this is a new world order, a globalistic administration that we have in the White House today. They, they, they don't care about American sovereignty. All they care about is what they can get for themselves and enslaving you. And this is the, uh, the processes by which they are doing these things. You know, you talk about homelessness in America, it, it's gonna get a whole lot worse. People are losing their jobs. People can't afford to go to their jobs because of the high gas prices. And uh, all of this stuff could have been avoided. But like I say, if you're expecting it to get, to get lower, don't hold your breath. It's only going to get worse because, like I say, this administration has an agenda. They are pushing the Green New Deal. They are pushing electric vehicles and uh, alternative sources of energy you know so they want you to go out and buy an electric car and get rid of get rid of the uh oil and uh gas powered vehicles during the debates you know president trump warned about this and he straight out asked uh president biden would he stop the drilling will he stop oil production and of course you know, Biden waffled on the question. But now we see that their agenda is taking a free course. Let me show you a video here and uh, to let you know that there is an agenda and it doesn't include America first. Take a listen. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm will take questions at the White House briefing today after laughing off high gas prices just uh, last week. Watch this. In Sturgis, Michigan, it is $2.89 a gallon. I guess that's better than in California. What is the Granholm plan to increase oil production in America? <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Would that I had the magic wand on this. As you know, of course, uh, oil is a global market. It is controlled by a cartel. That cartel is called OPEC, and they made a decision yesterday that they were not going to increase beyond what they were already planning. They don't have any, any, any plans to uh, lessen the burden that we are feeling at the gas pump. Take a look at this video as well. Global and a national level. Is the economic chaos unfolding right before our eyes the result of incompetence or careful planning? Now, Ted Cruz believes this is all purposeful. Joe Biden believes if gas is $5 a gallon or $6 a gallon or $10 a gallon, 
that if he imposes enough pain that eventually everyone will have this, this, this epiphany and get rid of that truck or get rid of that minivan and everyone will go buy an electric car. <laughs> Amen. And I, too, believe that this is, like I say, this is something planned, ladies and gentlemen. The handwriting is clearly on the wall. And uh, it's, it's, it's evident, uh, it, it can be evidently seen. Check this out. The wing of the Joe Biden party are happy and content. That's all that matters. And don't take my word for it. Listens to Biden's very own Secretary of the Interior. They're saying it, much to my chagrin. Do you believe that gas prices are too high? Senator, I completely understand the crunch that so many Americans are under right now. I think that there that Americans are still recovering from this terrible pandemic, and there are a lot of other world. Um, events that are making things difficult for all of us. So, so it sounds you're unwilling to say that gas prices are too high, because if you thought they're too high, I mean, I just wonder what your department has actually done specifically to lessen this terrible pain that Americans are suffering uh, under these high gas prices. We're doing um, all we can, Senator. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, these people are amazing. Amen. Do you think gas prices are too high is the question. Simple yes or no would have sufficed. But she had to bring in the pandemic, COVID, you know, and, 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 and blaming all of these other things, you know. But that is the agenda, uh, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, of this uh, White House, of this administration. So like I say, if you're thinking the gas prices are going to go down, don't hold your breath. We're going to be in for a real shocker. And like I say, the squeeze is on. It is time to put your trust in the Lord, ladies and gentlemen, because he's the only one, amen, that's going to bring us out, that's going to bring us through. This is Brother Williams. Trust in the Lord. Till next time.